Are you staying, Kieran? Bonjour, everyone. Welcome to Mike by Channel TV. Welcome to Blue Flames Car Park. As we are here trying to park up for the Derby, the Under 21 Derby, the Mackhams v the Tune here at uh, Whitley Park, Blue Flames. But we are stuck in the car park. So ten minutes to kick off. Hopefully, we can get in. Big news tonight is that Kieran Trippier and Matt Target both start for the Under 21s. Most interestingly on that is obviously Kieran Trippier. Um, and most interestingly on top of that again, Bruno Gimaresh has took his captain's armband. Trippier never even got officially named the captain for Newcastle. It was always still the cells. The Daily Mail are reporting tonight that Bruno is now the official club captain, regardless of the cells playing or whatever. Anyways, so we'll wait for the official announcement on the club from that one, but that's a big one. But anyways, we'll try and get parked up here at Blue Flames and bring you the vlog and all the action from Derby Night. Right then, that was uh, terrible. We waited in a massive queue to get in to try and park, and then there was no parking. So we're parked in this lovely house and staying next to it. Probably going to miss kickoff now because of that scenario. But nevertheless, let's get in there. Cheer on the boys. All the polish over here. Derby Day special. Are you staying, Kieran? Okay, it's on Twitter, so it's probably true. <laughs> Right then, people, there we have it. We are home after the Under-21 Derby Day game. It finished one all in the end, which is disappointing, especially after Newcastle's dominance in that first half. Before getting the trip, your stuff, let's just quickly run through the match review there. Uh, just briefly, you know, Trevor Snoosey, star in the making. Star in the making, that lad. Thought he was absolutely class, especially, like I said, the first hour or so, you know, his, his trickery, his pace, his skill, he's causing all sorts of problems. The Mackhams... Couldn't handle him. Dinky little touches, niggling out of positions. Obviously, he came close to scoring as well. Decent save by the keeper. He was a constant nuisance. And for me, he was the one that stood out as well. As well as obviously a great goal by us when we took the lead. Some good build-up play there. Alfie Harrison in, in parts as well looked good. Obviously, all the attention was on Kieran Trippier, mainly. And obviously, Matt Target. Two older fullbacks to say the least, in the under-21s game there. Um, Trippy, I have to say, his delivery sometimes wasn't quite up to scratch, uh, especially the corner. You would have seen the clip before that where he was running up and he puts it at the side netting. That wasn't great. Some of the crosses were a bit too deep. One or two were all right. Uh, he was trying to get forward a couple of times, but couldn't quite get there. Not the best game. Did he look like he wanted to be there? Probably not. We'll get into all that in a minute. And on Matt Target as well, lots of people are saying and asking and wondering about Matt Target. This bloke is apparently on £100,000 a week. Some people are saying 110, 120. My days. I don't know how we've been stumped with that. Obviously, he had a good loan spell here, but he's been injured for two years now. He looked done in when he came off at half-time. He looked like he was carrying not again. Obviously, Trippier and Target both went off at half-time. Target looked like he was carrying not again, or he was absolutely shattered. He looked like he made that charity match. Worse. <laughs> Honestly, he was absolutely done in. You can see in my sharpness and everything, but... Just he just his body didn't look right. His body didn't look right. He looked injured again throughout, and he was he didn't have a good game at all. To be honest with you, he really didn't. But uh, for me, Sanusi, Miley in the middle of the field again was Ari as well. And our keeper didn't have much to do at all in that first half. But we drew in the end. First game of the season was a good turnout at Whitley Park. It's a shame they don't put that at the stadium. I think it's much better when they put the derby at the stadium because they're struggling a bit with the demand. There was a big crowd at the end there, maybe 
that's because they heard Trippy I was there last minute, people rushing in and whatnot. But just for the bar, the food around there, you know, it's it's a bit too busy. Without the stadium, then part of the East Stand a little bit, give people a bit more notice because a lot of people didn't even know that it was happening until the, the club tweeted earlier. So that doesn't help earlier uh, either, should I say. But 1 1 the game finished. But to the point of the video, to the point of the discussion, because everyone was talking about Trippy at night when the scene. He was playing, everyone was scratching their head, like, why? Why is Trippier playing? That doesn't seem right. You know, he didn't even get off the bench the other day against Southampton. They're saying, why is he Why is he playing? Because you know Target's playing because he's been injured and he needs minutes. Kieran Trippier needs a rest. The bloke's 34 this year and he played all the Euros until the final. I don't think he's lacking match fitness. He's played some of the pre-season stuff as well. Uh, he obviously played, was it the Friday against Girona? He played one of the games, started them. So he, he doesn't necessarily need minutes and why does he need minutes when he's not the starting fullback. Like Tino's going to play again against Bournemouth on Sunday. You'd imagine that would be the same starting eleven there and thereabouts that we had against Southampton the other day. You can look ahead towards the Carabao Cup game, I guess potentially, where he could be seen as he getting some minutes in his belt in there, so he can be playing in that game. I don't know. That one doesn't quite make sense to me. Him playing, um, he didn't really look like he needed the minutes. He just looked like he didn't want to be there. And as you would have seen in the clip. He didn't want to stay. He didn't want to sign the autographs. Now, I get it. There was a couple of people there who are collectors and they've got big books and they've got things that they want to get signed. But there's loads of young kids there. And I'll shout out Wolfie, uh, Alan and Wolfie there as well, who do a lot of work for charity who we've had on the videos and played the charity matches with. You know, he's he's got Trippier kits and that. You know, I mean, he just wants to see one of his heroes and get a quick picture, you know, and say hi and get a buzz off it. Um, that's the bit that annoyed me when Trippier was straight into the van straight away. Again, a sign of a bloke that just didn't want to be there. Just thinking, I'm playing with under 21s on a Monday night in Newcastle. Didn't fancy this. So, yeah, I didn't like that he didn't stop because there was only a handful of people there. I don't understand if everybody, there was thousands of people there and you thought, bloody hell, I'm going to be here all night. But there was a handful of kids there, man, trip. Yeah, just take a couple of pictures, sign a couple of autographs. You could even just say the collectors, the older blokes, and just be like, not for you, mate, but you see that kid there who's seven year old who worships us? Yeah, I get a picture with him. You know, I just. An extra five, ten minutes out of his night there, what's that's that gonna really make a difference to him? Whereas for the kids who were waiting to get a picture of them, it would have made their day week years. You know, and they would look back at that moment and loved it. But there was a speculation in and around the ground there again and they'd say, Oh, we've accepted a fifteen million bin it's on Twitter that we've done this, I've heard now of the kind. But obviously I tried to ask him just tongue in cheek, are you staying Kieran? And he's straight in the car, he's away. We didn't get a reaction out of him. Obviously we had the Joe Willick thing years ago and I said uh, are you staying Joe and you end up staying Willick after his lung spell we're hoping just for uh, something that would trip you and we got nothing you know he was do I see him miserable I mean he's obviously just kind of be asked put it that way I mean there's the, the worst bloke saying oh he's miserable he's always like that he's a, he's a, he's a dick and all that you know I can't say that like because I met him before one of the Champions League games where he did the press conference was it PSG can't remember it's on the channel anyways and he got a picture I had a bit crap with him he was great Great laugh, great bloke, spot on. But tonight, he didn't want to know. Didn't want to talk to anyone, didn't want to see anyone. Want to get straight in that van and straight home. So, this is going to have a bad day. He's only human, isn't he? Who knows what the crack is. But, again, I'll go back to it where I'll be shocked. I've said it all summer long. I will be shocked if he is still a Newcastle native player in 12 days' time when that window closes. Um, I'd expect him to go to Saudi or somewhere else. But if he still is a Newcastle player, I would be shocked. It's not, like, impossible that he could stay. Of course it's not. But he didn't play the other day. He's playing for the under-21s tonight. He's been linked with the move the whole time. House is up for sale. All of that carry on. Uh, yeah, I just think Newcastle with the one year left. We knew there was interest in January. I'd be surprised, like I say, if he's still a tune player at the end of this window. I wouldn't be against it. Listen, quality player when he first signed. He had a rough couple of months last season. Still got... Some good assists last year. She had some decent stats. Still a quality leader on and off the pitch. So I wouldn't be against it, but I don't know. It's a, it's a tricky one, isn't it? But if I had to say, I reckon he's leaving. I reckon he'll be sold in the next 12 days. But let me know in the comments below, people, what you think. Drop your comments in there. Drop your thoughts in there. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for some positive transfer news. That'd be a change, wouldn't it? Eh? Wait and see. Subscribe to the channel. Good night.